There it is. Big. It's a shark. It's not a shark. Holy crap. Oh my god. Uh, Get in! Bull sharks. Lots of them. What's going on everyone, Joey here, and we got an action-packed video. So action-packed, I totally forgot to make the intro, so that's what we're doing now. I'll set the scene for you. We're offshore with Nick and Brad. We're mangrove fishing, so we're just drifting baits back, fishing baits on the bottom, and when you hook these fish, you got to pull hard. So that's what we're doing in the beginning. We're also fishing this reel a lot. You don't see me fishing this reel that often. I will be a lot in the summertime. It's a super fun kingfish setup. Real light, real easy to fish. Uh, the reel is the Tsunami Forge 12, and then the rods, the Trophy Series, uh, seven foot, 15 to 25 pounds, super, super fun, lightweight setup, and fairly inexpensive, about 200 bucks for the whole setup. Uh, also, gentogear.com, check out the merch. You got the hats, you got the stickers, you got the shirts, and this particular hat is foreshadowing something epic that happens at the end of the video, something I've been waiting to do for a long time, and it lined up good, right about there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Pump them, pump them, pump them. There you go, keep pulling them. There you go, first mangrove. Dolphin. Dolphin on the flat line. You want to net him or cap him? Uh, probably net him. He's not very big. But it's a dolphin. Look at that tail, man. He's so lit up. Alright, he's going up by the trolling motor. I'm not letting him do me wrong again. Let's walk up there. We're gonna go nice and easy with them. I'm gonna see if there's another one with them. Just, you got chunks, so get ready. It's a nicer one, though. Yeah, it's like a little gaffer, but I think the net will be fine. I'm not seeing any others with him. A little dolphin on the flat line while we're snapper fishing here. This is the Forge 12 by Tsunami. I love it for kingfish. That's a nice little dolphin. All right. I mean, he's like hardly fought, so I mean, I'm expecting another run. But we'll see if we can steer him into the net. Those treble hooks are in there. There you go. Nice you dolphin. Go. Got the little Forge 12. Surprise dolphin right there. Could be another good fish for the box. We're getting started here. And then we got Nick's mangrove. Which he bled right here. We're gonna go ahead and add these two to the box. But it's not fighting like a mangrove, is it? I mean, that's a stiff rod. Maybe it is. You got any color, Nick? That's what we're looking for. There we go. And grow. Oh, yeah. Another nice juicy mangrove. There you go. Keep pumping him because he's got to get tight first. Bump, 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 bump. 
Yes. We gotta start gutting these things so we can get our chum back. <laughs> Actually, I got a bad thing. I got it. Let him know. Don't go up tight drag. Just go loose on him. And get that clicker off. MVP. <laughs> MVP's on the flat line. That's gotta be a king. Yeah. The way it hit it. I'm gonna switch you. We're gonna go ahead and set this rod down. And I'll get on the camera. That ran way too fast to be a cobia. We can see up here. Got no color yet. Oh, currents just going out the back. Baits are drifting back. We're keeping them, keeping them chumming. Hopefully, get these snapper fired up. We we'll get a few more. We got a little mess going on down there, but flatline's been pretty productive. Yeah, flatline got a king. Watch the trolling motors. Be ready to go up fast if you need to. It's another king. People like the interviews I do with you. You got to talk to me a little more. What do you got going on? All right, we got a king on here. There you go, Brad knows. On the flat line, caught him on a live horn belt. Yeah, we'll show you the bait that I always tell you guys works really good. Oh, come on. Horn bellies. That's what the dolphin came on, and now two kings. And I'm catching these mangoes on these frozen Frozen, Dad. frozen anything. So really, let's go easy with them. There's little treble hooks in there. Nick got him. There you go. Look at that. Barely in there. And that's it. Dolphin. dolphin on. Watch out. We got us a dolphin on the flat line. Look at that thing. Is that a little baby bull? Yeah, that thing is so cool looking. Now look how blue this thing is. They don't make blue dolphins. Look at how pretty that thing is. Do you have a D hooker on here? Yeah. I'm not gonna keep this guy. Why? You want him? Mine. Yeah. There we go. Little little taco. And all his blue's gone, just like that, with all his hopes. Ready? We got color. Snap up. Mangrove. I'm gonna grab the net. Boom! Another mangrove. Get him, Johnny. On the flat line. Flat line's seeing some stuff today. Get ready to walk him up in case he goes up by the trolling motor. King. See him? Yeah, Bring him to this side if you can. It's a better one, I think. Yeah, it's a good one. It's flashing around down there. Then we got solid anger of the Brad just put in the boat. Another one. Come back here. He's on this side of the motor. These are so many lines over here. I know. Oh, I cannot wait to dive. Dive, dive, dive. Ooh, that's a good king. The dynamic duo is at it again. Go easy, Nikki. Watch that troll motor. Whoa, that was close. Oh my gosh, troll motors will eat fish. 
I lost a nice dolphin in the troll motor a few weeks ago. There he goes. Quick little combo with the king and the mangrove. So that king was on a horn belly also, right? No, you... thread fin. Oh, you put another thread fin out? Yeah, I hit like freaking instantly. But I don't think it matters. I think it just... No, I think the horn bellies work yeah, fine. Go for a start recording. The arse! That's the one I hooked. The arse! On the chunk bait. They keep cutting us off. We'll see how lucky we are. If we're able to get them on the gaff or not. He's a skinny one too, he's gonna be hard to gaff. Looks like he's hooked good though. Let me get out of the way. It's a colorful fish box. There we go. We switched spots instantly on the flat line. This thing got dumped. We didn't have the camera going. This is probably the biggest fish we've hooked on the flat line all day. It put us down to the backing, or not really the backing, but I got about a hundred yard top shot of mono on here, and it took all that no problem. But we've been working them back. It's coming up around the side. No color right now. Woo. Flat line is where it is at. We don't see this thing. There it is. Big. It's a shark. It's not a shark. Is it? That's a massive kingfish. Holy crap. Oh my god. Just dude, just put a mask on. Just slide in with a mask. We're not gonna take any chances with this one. Nick's gonna slide in real quick. Try to put a shot on him. That is a beast of a kingfish. That's what you want in a tournament right there. That fish is well well over 30 pounds. Grab mine, just grab mine, they're on top. All right, my line's out that way, slide in. Teamwork, baby. Go! Get in! Headshot him. How's your shot? How's your shot? How's your shot? Yeah, Nikki. <laughs> oh my God. <coughs> that is a kingfish and a half. Well, we made a mess of it, but we got him. Thanks, Nick. Nick got a perfect shot, and look where that thing's hooked. That is insane. <sighs> thing did some work right there. The mono's really good on these kingfish because they got such speed and such hard mouths. Pull hooks a lot of the time. Yeah, I'd say that's a good one. Look at that thing. That is a slime ball for the smoker. <laughs> Giant kingfish on the Forge 12. Let's do it. Spotting you. I got color. Oh my God, if that rod broke, it would have whacked me in the face. Your line broke. 
looking awfully shiny, but I don't know. There's no, it's a mangrove. You got a shark down there? No, those are bubbles. Uh, you want you want a net? I think it looks alright. There you go. Nice. That's a big one. You're good. Nikki's on again. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm going. All right, I see him. No sharks, you're good. Nice mangrove. Oh, no. It's just got a red tail. If you're gonna flip, do a, do a fast flip. Damn, Nikki! We've caught some nice fish today, but now it's time to hop in the water and dive. And I have mixed feelings about that. Do you know why? Do you know why, Nick? Bull sharks, bull sharks. Lots of them. That is Sharknado going on down there right now. A mixture of blue runners and bull sharks. Let's hop in the water. And then we'll be switching on over to this one for you and it'll be like, fish in this spot for a little while and we knew there were some fish around so I was pretty surprised when I got in the water that I wasn't seeing the fish soon as I got in because a lot of times they'll come up high. So here I'm making a drop down. I'm working my way down towards the bottom and once I got to about the 40 foot range around here you can see the rocks. You can see me start to make out the reef and it didn't take long to spot a mangrove. I spotted a pretty nice mangrove right there but I'm still looking around for something better. I'm looking for either a really big mangrove or a grouper or something else. Uh, as I'm looking around though, I start spotting some sharks. I saw a sandbar shark, a big bull shark, and I decided it's definitely not worth taking the shot on a mangrove, which is actually a mediocre mangrove at best. And I worked my way up. The shark was pretty curious, followed me up most of the way, and not really in an aggressive way, so I wasn't too worried. Saw a couple mangroves. Some big sharks. Now the magic is about to unfold. I saw three unicorns, we'll call them, and I looked away, ignored them, and then slowly dipped my head under and started working towards them. And I'll let this clip play, but I just moved very, very slowly. The sharks were all over him, but I just landed a solid Kubera. I was unbelievably stoked, which you'll be able to hear. My hands are stuck all up in there. Kubera snapper in the boat. So we did good hook and line. We got the mangroves. We got some kings, dolphins. And then we topped the day off with the king, Kubera. On the 120 Koa Euro. I am stoked. There he is. Wrapping the day up, super long day, lots of fun on the water. Kingfish, mangroves, dolphins. Kubera, awesome Kubera, super stoked on that. I'm actually gonna be entering that Kubera in the Florida Spearfishing Tournament, it's a little fun tournament that goes on for the year. So we're gonna do that clip right now. This is my tournament entry for the Kubera Snapper. It's all the way up to 31 inches. There it is. That is my entry for the tournament. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Uh, we'll have more stuff with this tournament. I'll fill it in more detail on another video and tell you what's going on with that. Thanks a lot for watching. 
Check out Nick's channel. YouTube dropping soon. Captain Nick for a boat motor superstore. And Brad, he's over there cleaning the fish. We got a whole lot of fish to clean. So check out the merchandise, gentogear.com. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.